Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it may be there for you. I know I haven't posted the daily text in a while, but this one always touches my heart and I'll just jump right into it. Saturday, November 21st, 2015. Scripture text is let me see, Isaiah 64 and verse 8. It reads, O Jehovah, you are our father. We are the clay and you are the potter. And all of, the, all of us are the work of your hand. Comments go this way. A potter has full authority to mold the clay into the type of vessel he wants to make. The clay has no control over the matter. So it is with man and God. The man cannot rightfully dispute with God any more than the clay with the potter whose hands are giving it a form. With ancient Israel, Jehovah demonstrated his ability to do what the potter does to clay. But there is a marked difference. Notice this. A potter can make any sort of vessel he is capable of making from a lump of clay. Does Jehovah arbitrarily mold people or nations making some good and others bad? The Bible answer is no. Jehovah has given mankind a precious gift, the gift of free will. He does not exercise his sovereign authority in a way that nullifies his gift. Humans must choose to be molded by the creator, Jehovah. And so we see there, I like the point that it says there that, you know, how... Jehovah doesn't arbitrarily force anybody to make any decisions that they need to or want to in their life. And so, you know, that, that, that lets me know what a loving Heavenly Father we have. That He leaves it up to us to do whatever it is that we feel we want to do with our lives. And of course, He doesn't force anybody. It's your choice. And so... You know, of course, you may have some other comments that you want to make with this as well, too. But that's one of the main points that I saw within it. You know, Jehovah God is our potter. We are the clay. And we can never say to the potter, what are you to do? What are you doing to me or anything like that? No, we could never question that. But we rightfully and humbly say, Father, make me into what you want me to be. And so, with that, you take care of yourselves, you be well, and I'll speak with you soon. Enjoy this day. Take care now. Later.